Look at those coals, man. Woo. Dude, this is a prime campsite. All right, I swung by, found my campsite. Ah, I cut myself. Yep, a little eggs with your cheddar. <laughs> Look at that. All right, for you guys that haven't seen my truck camping setup, a simple way to convert the back of your truck into a truck camper. Catching crappies in the middle of the day. Cheers to a successful truck camping adventure, right? Just take a look at that goodness. Oh, dude, that's a big fish. I just keep switching out their water about every hour. And I had a very heavy burden of child support. Big old cat. Raccoon. Ah, get out of here. Maybe I, I, maybe I hooked a gator. And my mom kept having to reach in there like, oh, 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 they're like boiling hot. <laughs> Guys, it is a foggy, foggy morning out here on the lake. That's looking really good. Let's take a look at these, see what's going on here. All right, so I got the kayak launched. It's beautiful this morning. I'm actually gonna be on the lake for quite a while because I can't check into the campsite until three o'clock. Obviously it's like seven now. So that's a long time to be out on the lake. I'm gonna cook me a really good breakfast to hold me over the whole time I'm out there fishing. And then we're gonna head out there and see if we can catch us some crappie. And it is really cold. I got about four layers on this morning. Yes, sir. I'm going to cook us up something delicious this morning. Very soon we're going to be cooking with gas. Now we have got us some goody goodies. Put a little Japolino in there. Butter in the pan. Here. All right. Now yeah, let's get some of this goodness that in there. Oh, I hear my butter crackling over here. I don't want to burn the butter. Let's turn that down. Low, low. There we go. Man, I am hooked on this Cracker Barrel Double Cheddar. Oh, this stuff is so good. Extra sharp. Woo -hoo! You gotta have your your milk right so keep your bones nice and healthy all right there that looks so good already i hadn't even cooked it yet yes sir only thing we're missing is some ham sun's coming up i got eggs on the griddle 
Thank God I'm a country boy. And put a little, little Cavenders on there too. Cavenders is really good on eggs. That's the goodness. Lord, thank you for a beautiful day and an awesome meal. And thank you for all those crappie I'm going to catch before I even catch them. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing like having a little bit of cheese, a little bit of egg with your cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mmm. Good stuff. It's 45 degrees out here. Cold, cold southwest Florida morning. Some things are more important than fishing. It's the experience of camping. The whole experience of truck camping. Oh, I don't have my paddle. Doggone it. I gotta get my paddle. <laughs> it takes a lot of stuff just to go fishing, but when you're gonna go camping, and you just pull it all together. I mean, I literally, I was planning on just waiting a day and getting like everything together to go camping and fishing. And uh, then I went bike e-bike riding with my buddy yesterday. And he said, dude, you ought to hit the lake first thing in the morning. Cause I can't, I can't check into the campsite until three o'clock. And uh, so I got home yesterday at three in the afternoon. I was up until 1230. I did not get in bed until 12.30, like midnight, 12.30, and uh, getting all the stuff together. And I still had to stop by Walmart on the way here. So, all right, we got a paddle in here. I hope we have a, yeah, we got a paddle in here. We got a paddle in here somewhere. I'm going to have to un unbury it, though. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. I was up 12.30 in the morning packing, getting everything ready to come camping and fishing for a couple days. So it's Thursday morning. I got the campsite Thursday night and Friday night. So we can fish today, fish all day tomorrow, fish Saturday morning if I choose to. So, all right, we got the keys, lock it up. And I'm excited about it, guys. Straight up crappie fishing, that's all we're doing. We are trolling for crappie. So much fun. Last time I was here, I had two rods and I lost a rod. This time I have three rods with me. And um, I learned something last time. I was putting my rods in my rod holder and my rods are sticking way up in the air. But whenever I had a line that was down lower to the water, I was catching crappie and I was catching bigger crappie. So I'm thinking my baits aren't getting down deep enough. So I bought me a yak attack rod holder so I can keep my rod lower to the water. And then I got something figured out for my other rod where I'll be able to keep the line lower to the water. And then I'm just gonna keep one in the back rod holder kind of sticking up like that. So, all right, let's finish this. Let's finish this process here. All right, I wanna be able to do this without getting my feet wet. I think that's going to work. Scoot, 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 scoot. I'm going to lock this in place. Uh oh, it's making a crinkling noise. That's not good. That's not good. Whoa. Kill switches are all good. Huh. Made a strange electrical noise. I don't like it when it does that was clicking there we go all right we got a good connection now yes sir let's see uh oh it's not turning come on old town autopilot let's go come on really let's let's don't do this this morning please Motor not found. Cotton picket. It's not doing anything. Yeah. 
It's always my biggest fear with this thing is that you get it in the water and it doesn't work. There we go. That front connection must not have been pushed in good. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. I lost my motor already. Motor not found. <sighs> so what happens when you have a lot of different electrical connections, right? So I have no idea where what the issue is here. We'll jiggle the back one. We'll jiggle the front one. See what happens. All right, she's working now. I don't know if it's the front or the back. I replaced that front socket like three months ago. So maybe maybe we got a back one is having an issue. I don't know. Dude, it was blowing. The wind was blowing like crazy when I got here. It has calmed down. Look at it. It's, oh, it's going to be a crappie catching morning, guys. It's going to be a crappie catching morning. Okay. Yeah, this could be dangerous right here. Okay. I think we're good now. I got some kind of an electrical issue going on. I hear it, I just hear it faintly clicking. Ugh. It's cruising along pretty good there, so let's just try and relock this thing down. Kill switch is in good. I know these are pushed in good because I already double checked those. All right, I don't hear the motor clicking anymore. So I got a beetle spin on that one. I'm going to put a road runner on both of these white rods here. Beetle spin is just a gold beetle spin. Got an electric chicken color to it. Let me slow this troll down a little bit. Oh, you know what? I never loosened the drag. I'm afraid. I'm kind of fearful I'm going to lose another rod here. I just... It's going to take me a little, little learning with this new pole holder here. I use six pound test leader when I have braid, uh, the rod that has the beetle spin just has six pound mono, straight six pound monofilament on it. Beetle spin's dragging the bottom. Let's kick that speed up a little bit. Got me a road runner with a chartreuse head, a black and chartreuse tail. We're gonna throw this one out now. Now on my other rod, I'm gonna rig that one up with a road runner with an electric chicken color on the tail. We're gonna throw this guy out there. And what my plan is with this one is in order to keep this one low to the water, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the rod holder here like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the line and I'm going to wrap it got my rod here but I've got the line wrapped around the ball here so it's low to the water we got three rods out all we need now is a crappie 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 baby yeah so some of you got some of you guys been asking about the green rod I did lose a green rod in this lake it's down about 33 feet on the bottom somewhere um, I replaced the rod it's a Zebco hot cast from Walmart cost about 10 bucks I went ahead and got a Shimano 2500 um, FX spinning rail for like 20 bucks so I got 30 bucks another you know five or six bucks for fishing line so that rig yeah I got a, another green rod this one over here I was given a Daiwa uh, Fuego by a subscriber um, that one is ride rigged up with my Shakespeare 
excursion and then this rod back here that's a 2500 size reel this one back here is a 4000 size walmart sealed reel and that's also on the shakespeare excursion graphite rod six six all of them are like six 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 well the green rod six foot and the other two are six six so the cool thing about the autopilot 120 is i can push this little paw right here and whatever speed that i'm going when i push that paw the motor will regulate that speed it'll keep it right on 0.8 or one mile an hour or whatever who's gonna get hooked up first will it be the beetle spin or the road runners i'll let you guys know in a little while you're out here doing something like this you gotta check your beetle spins every now and then and your road runners make sure they're not tangled up because these things do spin around sometimes they'll get tangled if you get slack in your line or whatever anyway my point is you got to reel them in and check them every now and then now he's still good not getting any hits just not getting any hits yet any second now we got our first hook up we're hooked up on the uh the white road runner with the electric chicken tail feels like a pretty decent one oh yeah might be a keeper eh a little small I, I think we can catch them bigger than that definitely i'd say he's he's maybe seven or eight inches all right buddy thanks for the catch nice white head on the road runner electric chicken we got another one on the green rod this is a good one guys this is a good fish this is going to be a keeper here boy he's way over on the other side i hope he doesn't get tangled up with my other rod Oh, this is a tank. Tank, baby. He's surfing on the top. It's going to be a big crappie. It's going to be a massive crappie. Oh, dude, this is a good one here. Woo, bucket mouth, baby. Bucket mouth. He hit the uh, Roadrunner with the white head and the electric chicken. Oh, dude, that is a monster crappie monster crappie come on in here baby come on in here holy buckets that's a slab running about 1.5 miles an hour throw this back out we might have to we might have to switch everything over to a a road runner with a white head and an electric chicken tail because that's what they seem to be hitting yes sir 13 inch crappie you see why i threw that little one back now some big crappie in this lake all right guys plan is working so it's the road runner that's down low to the water that's getting them so i'm going to take this beetle spin move it up high and bring this road runner down here and see if we can get them on the chartreuse with the black and the chartreuse tail if not we'll we'll switch over to the white head with the electric chicken if we we keep getting them on that other one So I'm trolling along at 1.3 miles an hour. Guys, I got a crappie on here. As soon as I as soon as I move that beetle spin to a higher level, I got hooked up with a crappie. This is a good one. Oh yeah. Another keeper, keeper. That's a good one. He's probably about 10 inches. Nice. I like keeping them alive. That way, if I catch a bunch of really big ones, I can always let them go, right? That's two on the white head with the electric chicken and one on the gold beetle spin with the green and the pink combination. Hey, hey, the plan is working. We're going to have crappie for dinner. Truck camping, baby, and crappie fishing. Having a great time. That sun is getting way up there, but it is still cold out here on this lake. I thought I was going to be able to take off some layers, but no, it's... Uh, that wind is still kicking up. It's blowing cold, man. It's Florida boy. 45 degrees is cold for me. Now we might have to spin it around. Nothing's nothing's happening here. We're hooked up. I can barely feel the little guy on there. Little bitty guy. <laughs> little bitty guy. 
Yeah, he's tangled in my other line. You know what? I'm going to let him go. He's pretty small. Thanks, buddy. So I've caught more crappie this morning on the Roadrunner with the white head and the electric, trition, electric chicken tail. So I'm just going to go over and switch, switch all three rods over to that. See if we have a uh, good hookup ratio here. I got one hooked up on the green rod here. I got a lot going on. I was trying to get re-rigged. Uh, but yeah, we're, ho we're hooked up again here on the green rod. Yeah, fish on. It's fish on, baby. Oh, eh, it doesn't feel like a giant. But let me set the navigation on this thing. There we go. Yeah, it feels like another little one. I want to catch some slabs, man. I want to get some slabs. Actually, you know, that's a that's a nice one. I drug him behind the kayak for quite a while. There we go. Another crappie crappie. Crappie in the bucket. Whoop. <laughs> nice. Time check here. It's about 9.30. I think I probably caught about six crappies. Um, I've been out here like, what, an hour? So we're doing pretty good. I like to make sure they have fresh water. Keep them alive. That way, if I catch some really big ones and I want to let go some of the little ones, I can do that, right? Crappie on, guys. Oh, this is a good one here. This is a big one. We got a tank, baby. We got a tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's a lot bigger than those other ones. 1.5 miles an hour. Don't you shake off of there, big girl. Don't you do it. Uh-oh, don't lose your rod, JC. <laughs> Almost took my rod on the net and had a repeat. Oh, that's a nice fat fatty there. Nice fat fatty. Guys, that same combination, white with the electric chicken from Bass Pro. That is a good crappie. We'll take that kind of action all day long. Yeah, it's about 10, 15. It's probably been 45 minutes since I had a hook up bite slow yeah, it's time to take a few layers off it's getting hot out here i started this morning that wind was blowing really hard but yeah i got four layers on <laughs> we just got a hit i was about to give up <laughs> it's been so long He's kind of tangled up a little bit in my other line, but we got another one. And hey, we're getting a hit right here. I think we got a fish on. Oh, we got a double hookup, guys. We got a double hookup. We got one here and we got one here. Dude, this is a good one right here. This might not be a crappie. This is a good fish. This is a good fish very good fish i've got i'm hooked up on that one too this might be a wiper striped bass oh it's a big one he's kind of coming to the top dude wouldn't it be awesome if it was like a 20 inch crappie <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid he's going to be all tangled up in my other line. Do not want to horse this guy. Come on, big fella. Come on in here. I am afraid we're going to have a big old catfish. I mean, I'm not afraid. Yeah, he's definitely tangled up in my other line. 
See if we can get him to come up towards the top here. Boy, it's a big fish. That's a good fish. He is not happy about it. He is not happy at all. Got to get a look at this guy. Big catfish, big catfish, big kitty, big kitty cat. Dude, look at the size of that cat. <laughs> Woo! Big old catfish. We'll take it. Yeah, he's all tangled up. Look at the size of that kitty. Look at how big that catfish is. <laughs> big old cat. I mean, I'd keep him, but I'm really... I'm fishing for crappie today, so I'm going to let this guy go. He was a lot of fun to catch. Thanks, and see ya. Nice. That was a fun fight right there. So I'm going to head back over here to where I caught that crappie about 15 minutes ago and troll back through that area. Last time I was here, I caught three or four crappie over there in that same area. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that catfish probably would have been delicious. I know he would have been delicious, but I just don't feel like cleaning the catfish. I got like four or five crappie in there. Plenty, plenty of fish for me to eat, right? So the targeted species, crappie. Having a good time. Beautiful Southwest Florida day. The sunshine is way up there. It's probably getting close to 11 o'clock now. All right, let's see if we can get them. Fish on, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, he always says it's a good fish. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. He's water skiing. Another crappie. Another crappie crappie. Little guy. Just a little guy, but we got a crappie crappie. We, we got bigger crappies to fry than that. See ya. All right, we're hooked up. Feels like a good one. I just can't seem to figure out any rhyme or reason to these things. Seems like I've hooked up with more doing like one mile an hour, but just then I was doing 1.4. I'm on in here, big guy. Crappie, crappie, crappie. Nice. We'll take it. I've been throwing them away this size all morning. I'm not going to keep him. Beautiful eyes. I mean, his eyes are just green. Way cool. All right. Green and yellow. Look at that. All right, buddy. Thanks. See ya. Heck yeah. Having a good time. <laughs> I'm hooked up again. As soon as I threw it out. I'm trying to get this other rod rigged. Oh, dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big one. He's pulling drag, guys. He's pulling drag. We might have another big old kitty. That ain't no crappie. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure it's a catfish. I'm going to just put that in the rod holder, loosen that drag a little bit. I want to reel this other rod in so we don't get a tangled mess here. If we don't already have a tangled mess. All right. I got both rods out of the way and the fish is still on. All right. Now let's fight him. Let's just put this thing on pause. So we're not dragging him along. Yeah, I would love for this to be one of those big sunshine bass, a wiper. Man, he was really pulling some drag there. Kind of feeling like it might be foul hooked. Like it's spinning around, but that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Look at that. Look at that. It's a good one, guys. 
That's a good one. <laughs> I got a feeling we got a monster catfish. We got a monster catfish. Boy, that is a good one. I better spot lock it. Don't want him to pull me into one of those pilings over there. We're going to be here for a while, guys. I got six pound test leader. I don't want to force this guy. Ten pound test braid on the main line. Six pound test trilene big game monofilament leader. See the leader. I don't see the fish. Oh, he's, I'm seeing bubbles. I hope I didn't hook a gator. Maybe I, I maybe I hooked a gator. Oh, it's a huge catfish. <laughs> it's a huge catfish. Big old kitty. Wow. Big old kitty kitty. Oh, 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 giant, giant salt and pepper catfish. Whoo, nice. Out in the middle of the day, guys. Burning, starting to burn up hot out here. Who says catfish only bite at night? <laughs> Look at that. 24 inches. Kind of, he's got that salt and pepper color. He's white and you can see the little black specks on him. All right, big guy. Thanks for the catch. Lots of fun, guys. Lots of fun. <laughs> you believe it, guys? Middle of the day. It's almost 12 o'clock noon, and I'm catching massive catfish on little spinners. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, I'm having a great time out here. The wind is laid down to, like, absolutely nothing. And, uh, yeah, I've caught, like, one crappie in two hours, but I don't care. A couple of big catfish, just having a good time. Looking forward to getting the camp set up and doing camping tonight and uh, cooking up these crappies. So, all right, let's get back on it. I've been trying to get this rod re-rigged, and every time I work on it, I get hooked up with another fish. So, I am hooked up with another fish. Feels like a crappie on the green rod. So... I just reached down there, pulled back on the line, and felt him. See if we can get this guy in. It's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. That's a good one. Hooked up again, baby! That's the keeper I've been trying to catch for a while. That's a better one, finally. Finally got a better one. Catching crappies in the middle of the day. Nice. I love my life. I just keep switching out their water about every hour. Right? See ya. Nice. He just water skin. I've been dragging him for a while. Nice crappie crappie. <laughs> I got him. What the heck, man? What is going on? I got him, dude. Oh, you know what? I think the cormoran or something grabbed him. Look, look at this. It is laid down. It is slick as glass, man. Crazy slick out here. Fish on, baby. All right, buddy. Thanks. That's a fish on right there. I cannot catch a slab to save my life today. But yeah, another little guy. Thanks. Come on, dude. All right. Another catfish, guys. That's three cats. This one's salt and pepper, too. He hit it really hard. He went, Catch a catfish in the middle of the day, two in the afternoon, and I'm catching catfish. 
Nice. Look at this mess. I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, we got a fish on, guys. All right. That's an eater. Sometimes these little guys get on there. You don't even know they're on there. They're not, they're not pulling drag and they're not like pulling the rod. You kind of pull back on the line and you just feel a heavy weight. We are hooked up again, baby. I don't get to come out here and do this very often. <laughs> this is the time of year to get a few. All right, got another one. I think like 1.4 miles an hour has been the key speed today. The season's open, the bag limit is 25. Download the Fish Rules app, you guys, if you haven't already. Um, yeah, it will give you all the regulations for Florida fish that you're catching. People are always asking how long the battery lasts in the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. With this 45 pound thrust Minn Kota electric trolling motor, I trolled all day today, seven hours, 8.30 to 3.30, and uh, I'm gonna kick it up to level 10. I'm headed back to the launch, and this thing is just cruising full power, you guys, so I trolled the entire time today only a couple times did i i pause the motor um sometime when i was tro sometimes when i'm trolling i'll pause the motor for a little while just to let the bait sink but for the most part i was out there seven hours today running the motor the entire time obviously on a low speed on like you know you've got 10 speeds and it was running about on level two the entire time while it's trolling but yeah this kayak has never left me stranded. I've never ran out of battery power and I've had quite a few days where I fished like full eight, nine hour days. Um, obviously wind and current are going to affect how long the battery lasts, but I'll put a link in the description area to the battery that I use. It's a 100 amp hour lithium battery by a company, it, they're called Latime. And uh, excellent battery guys and very reasonably priced. All right, I swung by, found my campsite, and I plugged in a bunch of batteries that need to charge so we can record this adventure that we're on this weekend and go fishing tomorrow and stuff. But I'm heading back down to the boat ramp. The game warden told me to clean the fish down there. He said, just put the carcasses in the trash can. He said they, they switch out that trash uh, daily. So he said, don't throw them in the water. My buddy actually told me don't throw them in the water too. Uh, they don't want to attract alligators down there around the ramp. So we're heading down to the boat ramp to clean up some crappies. Got something really neat that I'm going to do tonight after I cook dinner, like right before I go to sleep. We're going to build a big roaring fire tonight. It's supposed to get cold. Woohoo! The crappies are biting. We're going to have some crappies for dinner. All right, I think we'll just clean our crappies right here. I got a cutting board somewhere. All right, let's clean some crappies. You just fillet a crappie, same way you fillet any other fish. These are still kicking, guys. I kept them alive all day long. Just kept switching that water out and uh, nice, make them nice and fresh, right? And I always make boneless fillets and I don't know, about a year ago, I just started cutting around the rib cage. I used to cut through the bones on the rib cages, but it's just a whole lot easier to cut around them when you're cleaning the fish. So and I like to leave the skin attached to the tail like that. I just think it makes it a little easier to grab a hold of it. Let me move this back. Just a whoa. Move this back just a, a tinge. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Skinless, boneless, crappy fillets. The 
they got a really large rib cage all right looks good and i just got a little little bag here i'm going to put the fillets in over here i've got a trash bag to put all the carcass stuff in yes sir i'm going to be here for a little while One thing I can always count on on YouTube when I'm cleaning fish is somebody's going to tell me what a terrible job I do at filleting fish. <laughs> I wish I had a dollar for every time somebody's made that comment in the past six years on my channel. You're wasting so much meat. Well, I don't eat the bones and I don't eat the meat around the bones. I like boneless, skinless fillets. That's the way I like to eat my fish, so... You eat your fish the way you like to eat them, I'll eat mine the way I like to eat them. Don't criticize me. Don't judge me. I do not enjoy pick, picking through the bones. When I was a kid, I got a bone stuck in my throat. And uh, that was not a fun adventure luckily my mom was able to get it out and uh, it took her a very long time though it was stuck on the the roof of my mouth like all the way back right where your throat kind of goes down in your esophagus and my mom kept having to reach in there like with her fingers and fingernails trying to grab a hold of the bone and my stepdad was holding a flashlight i was about 12 years old got a big like bluegill bone or bass bone or something stuck back there so you guys that enjoy eating your fish with bones y'all just go right ahead i'll pass i like my fish skinless and boneless fillets all right this is home for the next couple days the picnic table our fire ring is over there and uh we got power and water all the way up here so got my stuff charging there and this is this is where we're hanging out so tell you what i have i just like i have got a mess i need to get organized just everything is thrown in there i mean it's it's organized chaos is that what they say <laughs> all right let's do it i tell you one of the things i one of the things i really like is it's the privacy right here i like this privacy all the way back around and uh, actually the next campsite, dude, this is a prime campsite. The next one is all the way over there. That's like, that's unheard of. Usually you have somebody like right next to you. So dude, this is, this is premium ground right here. Heck yeah. Nice find. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of setup stuff. I'll probably show you a few things. <laughs> All right. We're rocking it old school, guys. We are rocking it old school. I worked up an appetite. No doubt about it. All right, I would like to get this truck backed up as far as I can, so... See how far this cord's gonna reach. I'm gonna be doing some video editing later when I climb inside the truck to get ready for bed. So I wanna get it back as much privacy as I can get, like, you know, away from the road. I installed a through outlet so I just plug it on the outside and then there's an outlet on the inside. So I have power on the inside of the truck later. 
This table right here is a hundred dollar camping portable fold out table. I got it at Goodwill for four dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> Probably easiest to just set it up here on the table. We'll flip it over. It's pretty cool the way it all works. I think these guys go across here like that. This one screws in here, like that. Absolutely nothing wrong with having an extra table. All right. One thing, we're not gonna have to worry about mosquitoes. It's so cold out here. A little fish for dinner. I brought this little cooler here separate just to put fish in that are cleaned. So I'm probably going to keep some more fish tomorrow while I'm here. Crappie are delicious and uh, I eat fish all the time. I am definitely a fish eater. Nothing like fresh fish, baby. And then uh, catfish. I should keep some of those catfish if I catch them tomorrow. Which I probably will. I caught some giants today, man. Fish is going to be iced down with frozen uh, bottles of water, right? That'll keep them. That'll keep them good and cold for a couple days. All right, yeah, we're going to need the need the tongs we're just going to grill them up we're going healthy tonight we'll do some saison complete seasoning stuff does not have a tremendous amount of salt in it so i'm going to season them up good olive oil in the pan gas control is pretty pretty sensitive oh it went out again darn it all right right there perfect you just sit there and simmer for a little bit while I get the rest of this stuff out and start getting it ready. What amazes me about these lanterns is how tough these mantles are once you get them installed. So, let's see what happens here. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully we won't attract too many bugs. Let's go ahead and drop the fish. thing about that Saison is that it has a lot of garlic in it and it's just going to burn. I think this is the only thing that I have to chop. Some jalapeno. Alright, well, I had some GoPro issues I was trying to iron out and uh, a couple of them got pretty, pretty, pretty crispy there. But uh, for the most part, they're looking good. They're going to be some deliciousness. All right, I got my, my other pans here so we can heat up some tortillas. And we'll just do a couple at a time. All right, those, look, those are looking good. Put us some crispy fish on our toasted tortillas. And we're going to do a little coleslaw. Fresh out of the pack. Next, a little coleslaw dressing. Don't you just love the sound of a lantern? All right. And then we're going to finish it off with some 
jalapenos. Dude, now, want you guys to come in a little closer. Just take a look at that goodness. Ooh, oh yeah. I worked hard to make this happen. Diet Lipton tea to celebrate the occasion. We are digging into some crispy, crunchy, pan-seared crappie. I definitely cooked them done. Mmm. That is good. Cheers to a successful truck camping adventure, right? Guys, I'm so excited about this. I love coming out here and camping. When the weather gets cool like this. I've always enjoyed building a bonfire outside or a campfire and just sitting around the campfire. So I'm really looking forward to doing that in a little while. So. I'm going to eat up these crappies. I'm going to eat up these crappie tacos, get some more things organized, and uh, we're going to crank up a fire here in a little bit. All right, for you guys that haven't seen my truck camping setup, this is my uh, cot. It's got front legs and back legs. It doesn't have a, a center support. It goes over the wheel well, and then uh, I got a small three-drawer chest up there, but I covered the windows with blackout and I used some Dollar Tree lights for lighting in there. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this simple truck camping build, I'll put a link here in this video. You can check it out. Man, guys, look at that juicy deliciousness right there. Going in. All right, guys, I got a hunk of Duraflame log here. Duraflame. Bad thing about being in a camp campsite for one night, you know? You just get everything set up, and then you got to leave. It takes so much work. But I would have gotten it for more nice, but they only had two available. I got a few palmettos to go with it, but once those dura flames get going, it should be enough to get the big logs going too. We're about to have a real camping adventure now. Yes, sir. We got us a roaring fire. All right, now I got another thing that I bought for this adventure. And, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys yet or not. I wanted to, but I picked up a trail camera. We're going to set up a trail camera tonight, turn it on before I go to sleep, and see what kind of critters come around in the middle of the night. See if we got raccoons and possums. So we got the table here. I got an oak tree there and a pine tree here. I think I'll just put it on the pine tree right here, and we'll point it to the table because they're going to be looking for scraps, right? So the one that I picked up is a Tasco. Um, does it have the model on here? 12 MP. And the video quality at night is pretty good. Um, during the daytime, you have to have a lot of light. But, dude, let's just, let's just do it. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do, right? I like, I like adding a little suspense so we can see what kind of animals came around in the middle of the night. Yeah, the kayak battery is charged. Most of the GoPro batteries are recharged now. So we still got two, still got three of them that need to finish charging. So GoPro, but I need to put the kayak battery in the kayak. Camping is a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. All right, check it out. Fire is nice and toasty warm. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to just sit and chill. Now we got to get some dishes washed. One of these days we'll have a cameraman following us around. Oh, it's always fun to cook it. I never enjoy cleaning though. Never enjoy doing the dishes. Look at what we have here already, guys. Raccoon. Ah, get out of here. Yeah. 
I ain't even gone to sleep and they're in here raiding my camp. So guys, I got my kayak ready to go in the morning. What I do is, you know, I got the support bar coming off of the truck. I take and I strap the front of the kayak and I put a rag in between the bar and the front of the kayak so it doesn't ruin the front of the kayak. And uh, yeah, it's up off the ground about a foot and a half or a foot. And then back here, I just got my regular strap across that holds my wheels there. And this is, uh, yeah, this is my MIG shift trailer. All right, guys, I got to walk up to the restroom. It's pretty good, pretty good ways from here, but this trail camera, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on because I got an idea. Mr. Raccoon is going to come back around. Uh, let's see. On is there. Yep. 10 seconds. All right, we'll just turn that on. Yeah, we'll we'll see if we get Mr. Raccoony Cooney when he comes back around. Dude, that fire is cooking nice and toasty. Feels good out here. Heck yeah. been looking forward to this ever since I ate my tacos. Let me get you some Hershey's dark chocolate, right? And get you some fresh strawberries. Dark chocolate. Bite of strawberry. Hmm. That's just as good as any expensive chocolate covered strawberry <laughs> you would pay for. Poor man's chocolate strawberries. Oh dang dude, these are good. These are really good. I need a cameraman to hold my light. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm eating like a king, dude. Chocolate covered strawberries. So, something I wanted to say about today was having three rods gave me more opportunities to catch fish. I got more tangles, but in order to keep myself occupied, right? Trolling because I was out there trolling for, I don't know, like a lot of hours. What did I say? Like seven hours. And uh, you just got to have something to keep you busy, right? So if you got three rods and you get some tangles and you catch more fish, um, it helps keep you busy. I mean, the GoPros and all that keep me busy also. But I had a blast out there today. I caught a bunch of crappie. I think I cleaned 14 and because I counted them out there on the water I didn't have the camera on um, I cleaned 14 of them and I know I threw back at least as many as I cleaned all right even if we say I threw back half of what I cleaned I caught 21 crappie today so I'm looking forward to tomorrow it's gonna be nice and cold again low wind and I'm gonna get on the lake right at sunrise that is my plan Maybe we'll catch some bigger crappie. Um, definitely if I catch a catfish when I'm out there, I am going to keep the catfish. We'll cook up some catfish maybe one night. We got plenty of crappie. I'm going to cook chicken and uh, maybe we could cook up some catfish for lunch. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. I bet you that Mr. Coon, I bet you that raccoon will be back tonight. He's making his rounds. He's got a lot of campsites to hit. <laughs> that fire is just, it is cranking. Toasty warm. 
I bought that wood from Publix. They have really good wood there. I don't ever buy it from the campgrounds anymore because this stuff never burns. You get it from Publix. It's really good wood. I mean, it has dried out. Use those Duraflame logs to get them started. And, and they'll crank good once you get them going. I have a sweet tooth. I confess, I have to put these away. Or I'll eat the whole pack. 920. Look at those coals, man. Woo. Man, that thing is burning nice. batteries in that one. Let's see. That one works. Yeah, we got to get a little battery work to do here, but hey, we're turning in for the night, baby. I'm excited about getting up early in the morning and going fishing again. All right, I got a mess in here. I got to straighten out. I just got all kinds of stuff piled in here. But let's go ahead and shut it down. I don't see why we can't. Yeah. Huh. Well, I got some batteries right here. Get this light working. Triple A. These lights have worked out pretty good, actually. For Dollar Tree lights. LED, little LED lights, you know, buck twenty-five or whatever, cheap, and they work. So, put some new batteries in. See what happens. one backup light in my drawer there look at that just needed a new battery good to go this is this back just twists on there I get a little piece of uh, duct tape that I put on there so that when I'm driving it doesn't rattle loose and fall and then it's just held up there with velcro right Oh, yeah, that was really bright there. <laughs> I'm so I'm so proud of my cheap truck camper build. Yeah, I put a lot of work into all these window covers and stuff. I, I'll put a link in the description there if you want to see how I put all this together. It's just a, a simple way to convert the back of your truck into a truck camper. And it works. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, I got my computer set up here. You see, I just pulled this plastic stack of drawers over, and it's the perfect height for me to do computer work. And I love doing this. I mean, I've been working, like, I got up at 4.30 this morning to go fishing and create videos. And now it's always, it, it's exciting to see the different things that I captured once I get them on my computer and I can view them. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's a lot of fun, like for you guys, most of the time when you go fishing, right? It's your time off from work. For me, this is my time on work, and I absolutely love the work that I get to do. I'm, I'm telling you, like years ago when I did cabinet work, 
and I had a very heavy burden of child support and I had to make a, a living for myself. And I was always struggling. I was in and out of court if I'd get behind on child support and stuff. And uh, I went through some tough years that I would be down at my cabinet business. Sometimes I'd work all night. Um, and I just, I'd be honest with God. I just say, I absolutely hate, I hate this God. I hate what is, what is going on in my life. I mean, who wants to work all night long just so that you can keep up with bills, right? Um, so anyway, fast forward, here I am now. I go to work in the mornings. I'm like, Thank you, God. I absolutely love going to work. I mean, who wouldn't love going to work when you're going fishing, right? So, but, yep, I enjoy doing the editing part. So, I'm going to take some time here, go through the videos from today, and uh, then I'll shut you guys off, and we'll see you in a little while. All right, guys. It is... It's cold. I was sitting up. I got shorts on and short sleeve shirt. And uh, it's just, it's too cold to be just sitting up and, and working. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kick back here in my sleeping bag and do some computer stuff. But next time you guys see me, it's probably going to be about 6.30 in the morning maybe. Yeah, 6.30, 7.30, we want to be on the water. I mean, it's a 10-minute a drive. I'm going to have to drive like a half a mile an hour pulling the kayak. But, uh, yeah, it'll probably be about 6.30 in the morning. So I would say it's lights out time. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. got some crappie to catch. This is some catfish to catch. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Man. It is cold this morning. I don't want to get out of the sleeping bag. <laughs> it is so nice and warm. no idea what degree sleeping bag this is but it kept me so nice and warm the sun is gonna start cracking daylight at seven i need to be at the launch at seven launch the kayak so <sighs> i think i'm gonna keep
keep some catfish or keep a catfish today maybe we'll cook up some catfish for lunch I'm not going to stay out all freaking day today I don't have to yesterday I had to because I couldn't check in there's a uh, moisture is a lot of a lot of condensation in here huh. all righty well guys I got to uh, I got to get up <laughs> Yes, sir. I love truck camping. Definitely. <laughs> it's, there's nothing glamorous about it. It's just something different to do. Got your nice little cozy space here. Nobody knows you're in here. I mean, if you're stealth camping, nobody knows. Unless you're moving around a lot and making a lot of noise, but... This thing propped up. That's the way we do it. You guys can see I'm just creeping along here like not even a mile an hour. And I just keep turning on my reverse camera. I can see what's happening with the kayak. And uh, yeah, everything's going good. You can see the uh, daylight starting to crack a little bit. So, all right, I'm kind of on the main road here heading down to the launch. I'm gonna kick up the speed, but before I do that, I wanna check. I'm gonna check the straps on the kayak. Oh yeah, still good and tight. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's go. 